Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of ARM processor video lecture series and in this video I will be going to explain you the basic comparison of ARM state and thumb state. Here my dear students you should have some basic knowledge regarding what is ARM state and what is thumb state. See in CPSR resistor current program status resistor as if T bit if it is equals to 1 then you can say user has invoked inside thumb state and as if t bit as if it is equals to 0 in that case you can say user is working with arm state now question is why user should invoked inside thumb state see if you have low end applications in that case you will be optimizing code density and in that case user can invoke inside thumb state why the reason is in arm state instruction size that will be of 32 bits and with thumb state instruction size that will be of 16 bits so by keeping t bit is equals to 1 in thumb state you have 16 bits of instructions so your code density that will be better in thumb state in arm state you have full access of system but here instruction size is of 32 bits so your code density that will be poor compared to thumb state and based on the requirement user can access arm state or thumb state here with respect to various parameters i'll explain you the basic comparison in between arm state and thumb state let us see all those things step by step so my dear students when we talk about arm state then here by keeping t bit is equals to 0 user can work with arm state of arm 7 tdmi and by keeping t bit is equals to 1 with cpsr resistor user can invoke inside thumb state here instruction size with arm state will be of 32 bits and in thumb state instruction size is there with 16 bits and you will be observing 68 number of core instructions are available with arm state and in thumb state you will be having only 30 instructions available and here my dear students one more thing that you should know that in arm state most of the instructions are supporting conditional execution here with thumb state only branch instructions can support conditional execution here you will be observing almost all the instructions other than five instructions you will be having support of conditional execution so i'll be making separate videos based on all the instructions of arm state in that you will get to know like how conditional execution is happening but you should know my dear students conditional execution support that is there with almost all the instructions of arm state while with thumb state we have only 30 instructions and out of these 30 instructions only branch instructions are supporting conditional execution right so here in terms of programming you can say arm state programming will be efficient right compared to thumb state but here you can say arm state is having instruction size that is of 32 bits so code density that will be better in thumb state compared to arm state when we talk about data processing of instruction then my dear students you should know access to barrel shifter and ALU that is given with arm state with full access if you observe my video based on architecture of arm 7 TDMI in that I have explained we are having two operands which is given to ALU second operand that is given to ALU via barrel shifter so we have full access of barrel shifter and ALU with all the instructions in arm state but when we talk about thumb state in that we'll be accessing barrel shifter and alu but with separate instructions right you cannot access barrel shifter and alu with same instruction here you'll have to write separate instruction for shifting operation as well as for arithmetic and logic operation but here by single instruction barrel shifter and alu can function in arm state if you observe CPSR accessibility means current program status resistor that is a flag resistor accessibility then with arm state 
if user invoked inside system mode then user can have full access of cpsr and in thumb state you will be observing user has no direct access right so as if user is interested to access this cpsr register completely then that is not possible by having thumb state user must have to invoked in arm state first after that user will have to invoke inside system mode and then full access will be granted with cpsr right now my dear students let us try to understand how register is provided with arm state and thumb state so in arm state we have total r0 to r15 in total 16 resistors out of that one resistor r15 that is program counter as well as another 15 general purpose resistors are available for programming and in thumb state you will be observing in total we have 16 resistor out of that only 8 general purpose resistors are there and then 7 high resistors will be there plus program counter will be there so here my dear students you should understand this thumb state that is been utilized for low end applications right in that you don't need many general purpose resistors while with complex programming will be definitely working with arm state only where you will be having full access of system where you need to have many general purpose resistor that's why that is how this resistor allocation is there here when we talk about code density then obviously as instruction size is of 32 bits with arm state you will be having low code density and here instruction size is 16 bits with thumb state so obviously high code density will be there with thumb state code density means what my dear students for example if i say you are having in total 16 memory locations so 16 memory location can be having how many instruction with thumb state here 16 bits will acquire two memory location so in total we can have eight instruction in 16 memory location while with arm state with 16 memory location single instruction requires 4 byte right 32 bits means 4 bytes so 4 memory location will be there so in total you can have 4 instructions only at 16 memory location so code density that is low over here with arm state and code density is high with thumb state here when we talk about system use then full system use that is available with arm state while partial system use is available with thumb state right here if you talk about what kind of applications that is there with this two different state then you should know my dear students arm state that is accessing system with its full capacity so high profile applications will be there with arm state and for low profile applications user can invoke inside thumb state by making t bit is equals to 1 here memory requirement that is more with arm state why the reason is instruction size that is of 32 bits so we have low code density so you need to have more requirement of memory but with thumb state you need to have less memory as we have 16 bits of instruction so code density will be high and because of that less memory will required for program right so this is how arm state and thumb state is there with arm 70 dmi and still if any confusion is there what i want is you just post that in comment box so that we can have further discussion thank you so much for watching this video